Hello everyone, here we will see about hinge loss function. The hinge loss is one of the loss function which is primarily developed for support vector machine classifier. The hinge loss is specific type of cost function that incorporates a margin or distance from the decision boundary of classification into the cost calculation. Two features available in the hinge loss, one is deciding the new sample is correctly classified or not. For example, in the support vector machine, we are having a decision boundary on a hyperplane and this is marginal distance in the positive classes and this is marginal decision, marginal decision boundary or marginal hyperplane in the negative class. So, when we are uh, having new sample, for example, I am getting the new sample, this new sample is uh, getting into the model, SVM model, it has to decide either it is correctly classified or misclassified. So, that should be decided by the hinge loss and even if the sample are uh, classified correctly, they can incur a penalty if the margin from the decision boundary is not large enough. That means, suppose when you are having the uh, uh, new sample in this place, okay. So, in this place when you are having the sample, so, the distance between the decision boundary and the new sample is very small. You look at that, this decision boundary and uh, the uh, um, sample's distance is very small. So, the hinge loss, hinge loss for this particular data point will be more. So, the whenever we are having a very small distance or not large enough distance, then hinge loss will play major role to increase the distance between the sample and the decision boundary to maximize the marginal distance. So, here the hinge loss is increasing linearly whenever you are having the data point close to the decision boundary. The hinge loss is mostly used with soft margin SVM. There is hard margin SVM. Hard margin SVM is not allowing any misclassified data. So, we can use the hinge loss function only with soft margin SVM classifier. Here, the sample distance is given uh, to the hyperplane if it is larger than the marginal distance. So, you look at that, this is the marginal distance we are having. Then, when you are having the uh, sample's distance more than this marginal distance. So, this sample is having larger distance than the this distance marginal. Okay. So, at that time, you can say that data is correctly classified. If it is the case, then there is no hinge loss. For example, when you are having two types of classes, one is positive class and a negative class, you assume that new sample is uh, uh, given with the data set, uh, actual output is uh, positive class and our classifier SVM is predicted as that as a 1.5. Okay. So, here the marginal distance is here 1. Okay. The marginal distance uh, between the hyperplane and the decision boundary is 1. But our, our predicted value is more than uh, 1. Point, I mean 1. So, that means it is having 1.5. So, at that time the hinge loss is equal to the 0. So, here uh, this is the uh, marginal distance line in this graph. So, in this graph, uh, so our data point is available uh, with the 1.5. So, the which is away from the marginal uh, distance. So, it which is correctly classified and also the distance between the decision boundary. Decision boundary is available here. Okay, W transpose X plus B equal to 0. That is the hyperplane decision boundary. So, which is available away from the uh, decision boundary this data point right so which is having the distance 1.5 so which is larger than the marginal distance 1 so it is correctly classified then even when a sample is correctly classified but the sample's distance is uh, to the hyperplane is too close to 0 that means you look at that uh, this is the distance 1 right between the marginal line and hyperplane. So, marginal hyperplane this one and this is uh, hyperplane. Okay. So, but our da data point is inside the uh, marginal line uh, inside, in between the marginal line and decision boundary. So, the distance between the uh, 
data point on the uh, data point on the distance boundary is very minimum you look at that this distance okay this distance is very minimum that means uh, less than the marginal distance one okay so at that time we will have a small hinge loss okay that is the another uh, important uh, point we have to keep in mind the sample falls on the correct side of the decision boundary that is the this one which is very close to the uh, uh, decision boundary when it is happening like that it will incur the loss between 0 to 1 that means uh, for example it is uh, getting the loss 0 0.5 so you see the uh, given input uh, uh, given input data having actual output uh, is having positive class and predicted output is 0 0.5 okay so this is having one but it is predicted as 0 0.5 so there is the last 0 0.5 so the predicted value is 0 0.5 right but marginal line is here okay marginal line is here so the decision boundary is here the uh, data point placed in between the marginal line under the decision boundary so it is having small hinge loss because the marginal distance is here one the data point uh, distance uh, data point distance from the decision boundary is less than the distance between marginal line and hyperplane so it is having small hinge loss and another one uh, 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 class is here if the sample is incorrectly classified that means misclassified if it is misclassified then we can uh, the data point will be locating in the wrong side of the hyperplane you look at that our data point is uh, placed in the negative class so this is negative class this one is the positive class actually the data point is positive class data point here but it is classified as a negative class okay it is negative class okay so when it is predicting as a negative class then your loss function is very higher that is equal to the or uh, two so it the loss function value will be quite high value right so uh, when your data is misclassified the hinge loss will be always having higher value this is another one important uh, uh, point uh, we have to keep in mind and next one is if the sample is located directly on the boundary so you look at that our new sample is placed directly on the decision boundary it is also incur a loss of one regardless of whether that actual output of this sample is uh, positive or negative uh, always it will have the hinge loss one so here the data point which is placing on the decision boundary right decision boundary is also here but here our marginal line is available here so in the negative side marginal line is available here so the loss is so actually if it is positive class it should be placed here at least it should be placed here am i right so the distance between the data and this one is one so that's why we are having the loss here one so this is the uh, hinge loss whenever data is uh, placing on the decision boundary in the software uh, so, uh, support vector machine and here the generalized plot is given this is the marginal line uh, positive classes and this is the marginal line here the negative classes so this one is the decision boundary the data point which are placing beyond the decision boundary in both sides right so uh, the negative class is correctly classified as negative class positive class is correctly classified as positive class means no error that means no penalty right but when our data is a uh, positive class right but which is placing in between the in between the uh, decision boundary and positive marginal line there is the possibility of small hinge loss and if positive class data point predicted as negative class you look at that negative class if it is predicted as negative class then the hinge loss is increasing you look at that it is increasing the hinge loss
okay and uh, at the same time if the negative class data points are uh, predicted as positive class in, uh, after the uh, positive margin then the hinge loss for that data points also increasing that means you look at that when you are having the data points as a positive right uh, this data point is the positive so if it is classified correctly it will be measured from the distance from decision boundary but if it is a new data classified here as a negative data point okay so it is a neg uh, actually it is positive but if it is classified as a net negative misclassified means that distance will be calculated from the positive marginal line because it is actually positive data but classified misclassified as a negative so we have to calculate the distance from positive marginal line so the hinge loss will increase just uh, like uh, from the margin uh, mar positive marginal line to this data point suppose if you have another one data point which is uh, actually negative class but uh, uh, predicted as positive class then this distance also will be calculated from this marginal line negative marginal line so hinge loss is uh, having quite higher value so this is the way the hinge loss is useful to maximize the margin in svm classifier thanks for watching